Howdy folks, welcome back to SnowRunner. We are on the Amir region, picking up where we left off. Last episode, I was um, getting a truck loaded up to do Old Bridge and Church. And then I had um, Stargazer ready to go for as soon as I get something available to go look for it with. And, um, well, basically, as soon as I finish these these two jobs. A um, couple other after that. See what happens. Let's get going with this thing. Got the Voron Extreme. Voron Extreme Forest. That's what it's called. Um, I have a route laid out. I have a snake laid out <laughs> to get back down to the old bridge and then the church is right there and the stargazer vehicle is right there shore collapse is there if I get to it um, I fully expect this phase four public test to be on the live server before the 28th and today is the 25th I think so I really don't expect to make much more in the way of PTS videos. Oh boy, this is nice and mushy. Let me change my view. Maybe I can get something. Nope. All that shit's gonna break off. See? All that shit's just gonna break off. get the next one down. I wish... I wish the uh, quick ruinch could be more intuitive. Now I'm hitting the pole with the trailer. Because the, you know, the, the only winch point was the pole itself, so it drug me right into it. As I was saying, it sure would be nice to, if the quick winch was more intuitive, you know, grab a point that does something for you. It'd 
game knows your direction of travel. Or it can guess. Based on a set of algorithms. Same set of algorithms can, they can program it to catch something that's not going to just break right off in the direction that you're looking. The winch, the quick winch already goes by the direction that you're looking, generally. So just have the quick winch grab something solid, like the utility pole. But anyways, it, Snow Runner is never gonna change. Their contract is up on the one year anniversary. Um, so this phase four is all she wrote. Um, in fact, in the future, it's going to be on Steam. Whether Steam adds to the game or just sells it the way it is, I don't know. I'm sure initially they'll just sell it the way it is, but I mean, will they have their own my, uh, contract with Microsoft to use their own developers. Maybe Saber Interactive struck a deal with Steam. But I heard that it um, might go live on Steam the same time that it goes live on Epic. But, you know, it's all maybes and mights and should and could and nobody knows for sure. I just don't want, I don't want to have 
two or three or four episodes of Amir on PTS sitting in a folder on my computer that I spent five or six hours making when it goes to the live server because at that point it's utterly pointless to upload those videos so why did I spend time making them? Even this video, I didn't, I'm not recording it until the last one, the previous episode, was done uploading. Just in case there was no reason to make this episode. I wish this trip wasn't eating up so much time. It will be nice to only have one server to log on to. Only have one server to keep track of manual mods and mod modifications and mod updates and all of it downloading new mods getting rid of mods I don't use shit like that only have one place to keep track of it all instead of having to duplicate everything for both servers And maybe someday I'll catch up with excuse me all the um, stuff they added to the previous regions. They went back and added new missions to regions I've already played, and I haven't bothered to go back and do those missions. I've just been too busy trying to keep up to date.
one. Uh, let's see, let's turn around. Two. Three. Alright, cool. I've been playing, um... on my own all day and I don't bother I don't take the time to turn around and get a good camera angle and I don't take the time to <laughs> explain what I'm doing and all that sort of shit I just haul ass And now I should get church going. Only one plank. Unload. And now Stargazer. I might run down there with the Kraz Chabors for that just because it's gonna move faster. Start tracking. I can wiggle the crabs around. And... Although I do have a trailer on it. You know what I'll do? I'll get this thing. not to beat up the little trailer too much. Oh Jesus fuck. I didn't want it to go f for the bridge. Alright, now let's try this again. And now it's going into the little tree. Tough shit. It won't steer where I want it to because it just spins and spins. Okay, the Kraz has got a trailer on it. Should I try and back it in here? Or you think it's a lost cause? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, let's see. Change truck.
just going to pull it, pull the trailer up out of the bushes a little bit. And then disconnect. And then play ring around the trailer here. So I can get going down toward the come on toward the seek or however you pronounce it. Oh, I love that. Just when I put it in high gear to get some speed, it moves the camera so I can't see where I'm going. I think we could probably go out on the ice. But I don't know. I haven't explored this part of the map. Yeah, that would have been tough for the Moron, I think. All fixed and all fueled up and accept and close. Back this up a little bit. Uh, bucket parts, spacecraft, <laughs> flying saucer. An engine section and booster sections and it looks like it crashed into a UFO. None of that's on the map. Just yellow snow. What's that mean? 
I was looking at doing strategic reserve. There's three supply trailers spaced around the map that all go back to, and that one's got a truck in front of it, that all go back to the town. But it takes so long to do anything on these roads. this thing like? Should probably recover it to the garage and make sure it's all fixed up right before I try doing too much with it. But, decent sized 8x8. Eight eight. Oof. That was a drop off. And a half. Climb that muddy bank. Decent. All right. Well, where's the garage from me? Let's see. There's one of them. There's the other. The third is all the way up in the north. Which is actually by the garage. There's another truck. Oh, that's one of those. Maybe I could use this to pull that one. Cover the 8x8 to the garage and then use it to pull that one. And use the Kraz Chabors to pull that one. But if I do shore collapse, where's the two metal beams come from? Oh, right here. Oh, see? That's why I was thinking about strategic reserve because they all deliver right where the metal beams come from for shore collapse. Let me um, cover this to the garage and see what kind of customizing They, none of them make any difference on the power to weight. That might be a glitch. Not sure if that's the best transmission. These are the only tires.
and then frame add-ons don't really matter if I'm just If I'm just towing Hey, that looks nice. I'll do stock. And there's nothing else there. Let's see what this transmission, what this five speed is like. It gets slower and shit like the Voron Extreme. got some juice to it. Okay. I tried. Steering is really slow. I cut it for the gate and it wouldn't even come back. That's fourth already. And then it just goes into a snowbank. Like to use the advanced special, but let's we'll see what the special looks like, how it feels. I say feels on a video game. Uh, you know what I mean. Steering is glacially slow. You have to stop and wait for the steering to come back. Haven't gotten out of first gear yet. There's second. Third. There's fourth. And splat. I think this one's better than the fine tune. I think it gives you a little better ground speed. Where's that?
strategic reserve. What have I got into this? 35 minutes? You know, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna even f be able to finish these three trailers. This one's up here, so we'll circle around like this. I'm just, I guess I'm just... playing with the new truck to show you what it's like. I don't think I'm going to get shit done before the hour's up. And I kind of doubt that I'm going to come back before the live server. This was kind of my goal with doing the old bridge, was to be able to get to the new truck. Old bridge, new truck. I mean, I wanted to have more than that lined up. But, honestly, wasn't sure if I'd get to it or not. I'm going to try something. Given how glacially slow the steering is on this, I'm going to try moving up my stick sensitivity. this thing in a campaign it would need some serious tweak and it's pulling it in high pretty good maybe the thing is to just leave it in high all the time Except for starting out, start out and then stick it in high. So I'm trying to turn the thing around right now. It just doesn't have a tighter turning rate. One lack of turning radius two the steer speed is so slow that you have to come to a stop and wait for it <laughs> oh it's gonna hit see I started I turned in just a tiny bit and then it would not come back out. It just went straight ahead into the pole. We'll see how it pulls, a, how it does pull in a trailer after I come back. Be back in a moment.
Okay. I will hook this thing up. I don't know if I'll be able to test out high range or not, but we'll give it a shot. You know, it would... There, all the way to there, would take no less than 45 minutes. I've got 45 minutes into this video, so... Don't get your hopes up um, that we're going anywhere with this thing. I'm just using it to kind of test out the new vehicle. With my stick sensitivity higher, I got a little bit of a head start on getting those steer tires to turn somewhere I don't have to move the stick as far to make the wheels move Put it the, the wheels are more sensitive to my stick input, which helps compensate for their lack of input. Let's see, where's the garage? Garages, yeah. Let's go back towards the garage with it. I was going to try and go around, but screw that. Let's see what it does, other than not turn. If I hit it high right here, it dies. How about low? Low pulls it up out of the hole better. Now it's moving. Let's try and hit high. Hey, look at that high takes off. But it high <laughs> uh, goes faster than you can steer it. <laughs> you can't go around a corner in high. It, it won't. <laughs> it won't turn the wheels fast enough to take the corner. Let's try this again. We're in second. Now it's it high. I know I'm going past, look at it, we, I'm going past the garage, but. I'd like to get it out of that snow, but I'm afraid to try and turn it. It'll go all the way across to the poles on the other side. Up, oh, yeah, see, that's it trying to come out of the snow got me. I got it out of the snow, but then it immediately went for the pole on the other side of the road. So I try to pull it off the pole and it's back in the snow. It's 
see what it does with some off-road. Just a wee little bit of off-road. Got to admit, it's taken the mud and snow pretty good. Considering it's barely moving. And it's not going to miss the pole. Here, let me show you something. Okay, this is full left to full right. To full left and back to center. Is that freaking slow or what? I mean, that's not something that I would put up with. I can see some steering adjustment, some additional torque, a quicker, more responsive gearbox. Even if you had to stay with these wheels, just just a few little tweaks, and this could be a good vehicle. But I think that's where I'm going to leave it. We found the truck, tested it out a little bit, and I gave you my assessment of it. And I suspect the next time we see each other on Amir region will be on the live server. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again sometime.